Hey, how's it going, guys? Tim back here at you one more time with another list wire video. I hope you've been enjoying this little series on list wire. Uh, it really is the greatest autoresponder, the greatest free autoresponder on the net today. Today I want to go in and look at uh, the prospects tab. Let's go down here. If you go down here on the search, you can uh, pretty much, if you're looking for a Pacific subscriber, you can uh, just put in your data. This is pretty self-explanatory. And uh, you can just uh, click the V. I'm not going to go into that. My list is privacy might be at stake. So that's pretty self-explanatory, though. I'm sure you guys can figure it out. If you can't, just, uh, just leave me a message on the channel or on Facebook or wherever it is you're uh, viewing this video. But either way, it'll be linked to YouTube, so, you know. And you can go to add right here, and you can add uh, prospects. Like, if you've got uh, prospects in another autoresponder, like Aweber or Get Contact or something like that, and you want to bring them into this one, you can just put in their info here and click Add This Prospect, and it'll add them, uh, I think. You can only do, like, 10 a day, I believe. And, uh, you know, you can add a tracking ID here, or you can go back and look at the tracking. unsubscribe link here you hear you can r remove prospects manually on a specific list or or all list whichever you choose and blacklist and you can blacklist people on your list uh, which I have never had to do that so, okay so, yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory Let's see, it's recycle. Now right here, you can uh, look for specific subscribers. And you can recycle them, which pretty much means that they'll start all over in your uh, autoresponder back to day zero and, or day one or, or however, whatever day it was that you started your list or they subscribe to you. Export. This is a pretty good feature. You can actually uh, export your uh, your file to your computer. You know, I, that's pretty easy. Easy to see. I ain't gonna go into that. Here's some good stuff to get to subscription form. You know, subscription form is uh, pretty much where you stick it on your uh, your website, and that's where the prospects sign up to your list with. So let's, let's just go add a new web form. Yep, so you have different types. You can name it right here. And you got different types right here. By the end line, it's just like a static. It just sits there on your page. And uh, pop-ups, you know, it's, most of this stuff is pretty simple, guys. Exit pop-up. Visitor leaves may be blocked. Yeah, you, you can kind of go through this. And try each one if you want. But like I said, they got the recommended as far as a, a, a pop up. I, I recommend this one and the inline are the two best, I'd say. And once you do all that, you would uh, come over here to the content. Take it a minute, there it is. And that, that's, that's it right there. You can see right here, you can just click here to edit it. You could uh, put in your info there. You can put in your info and bold it or whatever. Now you don't have colors here, but a neat little trick I found with this, you, most everybody has a paint program or uh, on their computer, you can go in and and type in what you want in here and add some color to it then uh, just copy and paste and come back in here and throw it in there it'd be great then you'll have color otherwise uh, the inline is just going to be black and white unless you want to use a pop-up now you put the colors in when you use the pop-up oh, let's uh, go back yeah and you know name email and you can go in here and uh, 
you can change what that says, whichever you please, instant access or something along them lines. You can get the text down here, same way you did up there. And once you're done, you can click here for the preview. Right here, you can uh, add more fields if you need them. You know, uh, like this right here is one I use in past. Where did you find this? A little helpful if you're not using a tracker, but I use trackers now, so it's the best way to go. Alright. I haven't really fooled with this squeeze frame. I hadn't done a whole lot with it. Let's take a look at it. We'll learn together. Yeah, it looks like pretty much the same thing. Squeeze your oil. I'll tell you what, I'll uh, stop the video here and I'll uh, I'll test it, this, this out for myself. Then I'll get back with you guys and uh, let you know how it went. Alright. That's cool. That sounds great. I believe that's what we'll do. So, uh, until then, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I'll, I'll leave a link below if you're not a member of this war already and you can join. Uh, thanks and have a great day.